Welcome to Scum. In the last episode, we finally got the Rager that we've been looking for for such a long time. So today, we are taking the Rager to the Northwest City, which looks to be the biggest city in the game. We'll be searching through the whole city to find good loot, but also to wipe out these disgusting puppets. So grab your favorite snack and follow me to the City of Death. So welcome back everyone to another episode of Scum. So we're pretty much starting off where we ended off the last one. Now I did get a few comments about the last car which is now called Torax Old Car. You guys want me to bring this one back to the house, to the cabin by the lake, and leave it there as a kind of a reminder of what we had. Or some people also wanted me to sell this one. I would like to sell it because obviously it would be a nice memory but you know. That's not really going to help us, is it, <laughs> in the uh, apocalypse. So, we should definitely try and get this one home. The problem with that, though, is going to be that if I go back with one of these, I need to run all the way from over here. I need to run all the way up here to bring back one of these cars. Because I can't have both of them with me at the same time, obviously. So, that is a problem, and that's going to take a lot of time. So, if... I mean, I can do that if I have some spare time, but right now I'm not going to mess around anything with that. So this one, we're going to leave it right here and it should stay here. I don't have anything in it. Yeah, that is completely empty. What we what we will do though uh, with this one is before we do the actual thing today, which is going to be, as you can see, a thumbnail and a title. We're going to go to the big city here in D4, D3. I haven't been here, I don't think ever. So this will be very interesting to see what it what it you know what it's all about, what we can find. I have no real expectations for this, honestly. Um nothing whatsoever. So we are just gonna go and park the car somewhere close, go in and search through the whole town, see what we find. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But before that, I will go and search uh, a few parts for this one because you know we're missing a little bit. Um two of the doors here. One door right there. And there might be some other stuff as well. I will repair everything as well. Maybe, yeah, there's probably going to be some front bumper here or something like that. That we need as well. But yeah, we're going to be fixing up this one a little bit more. And uh, not sure where exactly. I know there's going to be in this town right here, which we were in the last one as well. I know there's one car that we will go back up and pick some stuff up. But, uh, well, actually, that might be enough. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I also need to remember all of the uh, the buck meat that we got. The buck torso, two buck legs, actually three buck legs. Because if I forget them, they might spoil and then we're, uh, well, then we're screwed. So I need to remember these when I, when I get back home. But we have a long journey in front of us still, so don't have to worry about that right now. Man, we have so much loot. Pretty much all these four are completely full. And we only got, well, to be fair, we got some space left, so we're fine, we're fine. But we, yeah, off to the big town, we definitely need to go back home. I filled up a lot of uh, gasoline in uh, the car, as well as in the extra ones that we have. We actually have quite a bit of gas now. We don't have to worry about that for a long time. So 40 out of 40, 40 out of 40, and 5 out of 40. So we are good to go. Oh, yeah, that's right. We obviously have one right here. Oh, shit. This one is going really fast, by the way, this car. <laughs> it's going insanely fast. All right, let's strip this one off as much as we can and uh, place it on this one. Well, it looks like the one that we got had... Literally everything, except for the stuff that is missing here at the front. That one doesn't have it either. I'll place the left door. But that's it. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed now we don't have a front... Front right uh, mirror. That one is missing. Okay, we're gonna have... Quite a lot of puppets here, I think. Let's get ready for them. Ah, uh, here we go. Now uh, all of them is coming. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Wow, this one have nothing that we can take either. Absolutely nothing. Well, that's disappointing. By the way, we should definitely check out the lockers. I think we've opened them before. But they should respawn, right? Like, we should be able to open them again. Oh yeah, we can. Might find some good guns. Whoa. What the hell? We actually only found one gun, and that's the HS-F19. Yeah, we're not even gonna pick it up. That is terrible from, uh, <laughs> from like, eight lockers. The only thing that we picked up was these. <gasps> oh, there's no way we actually found it. I was just looking for this. Okay. Portable refrigerator to keep your food and drinks cool on the go. No freaking way. Guys, you know, we've been looking for this for ages. Nah, that is so perfect. Can't believe I actually found one. I've been, I, I opened quite a few. Wow, man. Okay, what is this then? Front bumper? W, no. Um, I'm so happy about this. We can actually now start working on the base and the kitchen area. Where we're going to be using the uh, uh, the electric... Uh, ooh, what's it called? The electricity stuff. So that we can get this one going back home. It is portable. But I think I do want to keep it at home. Yeah, at the base. Yeah, that, that's going to look a lot better. You know, so we'll keep it, keep it there. But damn, I actually found it. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't expect it because I have I've been searching for such a long time and I haven't found it yet but now finally and we also found another tire for the for the Rager so we got two extra now as well successful run to this one all right that's it for now I don't think we have any more rages around not that I know of so we are gonna go down into the big city and see what we can find So here we are. These these are just the pre-houses before the actual town. Oh yeah, here we go. Some big, some tall houses. Oh. Wow, we are in for a treat. Uh, it's probably going to be so many puppets in here. At least it should be, right? The only question is, where did we park? Wow, it got dark. Look at that weather. Hey, that is not good. Hopefully... It it's going to pass fairly quickly. Uh, but yeah, this town should be filled with puppets, so we need to be super careful. Um, I need to I need to place the car somewhere here. We can't really go in with it. That is not what I would do. Hmm, yeah, let's leave it up here. Yeah, we got a little overview, so let's leave it right here. All the way up here, so that we know where it is as well. Oh boy, this will be a lot of fun. So the setup is going to be the Ballista, the UMP, and the Block 21. I also switched to the Stab Proof Vest. It's going to be a little, little bit less weight. I will still bring with with the Night Vision Goggles. You never know if we're going to find some kind of downstairs, underground bunker. You know, whatever. Whatever. And yeah, I think that's it. We got a little bit of food and water, some medical stuff, arrows. Uh, a lot of stuff for the lockers in case we find a bunch of that stuff. But yeah. So we can't really pick up that much. I will be very careful with what I pick up actually because we don't have an insane amount of space. You know what? It might actually be worth picking up a hiking backpack. This one is obviously completely full but we can just move everything in somewhere else and bring that one with us because, well, loot is the stuff that I want from this place. I think we'll actually do that. And there we go. Now, let's get into this town. Oh man, I'm quite excited for this. Probably gonna find a lot of really cool buildings. We should be able to go up in these big ones, right? Unless they've made it so there's gonna be like... Stuff is blocking the entrance in a few of them. 
But I feel like I should be able to get up in... Well, some of them at least. That looks like a really good looking rager. Maybe it is. And that's why I brought with me the ballista. To be as sneaky as possible. Nope, that one is completely burned up. Yeah, here we got four tall buildings. At least we can go into them. And most likely we're going to be able to get up as well. Yes, sir, we are. I love the fact that they've made it like that. Might not be anything in these ones. I'm If, if I don't find anything in like the first two, three floors, then I'm definitely not going to go up all the way. That's just going to be a waste of time. Yeah, it's just going to be empty. A little bit unfortunate, but to be fair, pretty realistic. Wait, this one... Goes down. This is in the middle of the four big houses. Whoa. What do we have here? Some kind of underground garage, maybe? Oh. Nah, okay. This is cool. I like this. Big fan. Big, big fan of this. Oh, shit. It's pretty big as well. Oh, yeah. That can go in and out as well. You know, we might be able to find some good stuff in these lockers. You never know. Maybe a really good car. A Rager, but even better looking. Ooh, that's a shotgun. Not a bad start. I think mm, we probably need to carry this one straight away. Just to be able to place a bunch of stuff in it uh i mean carrying a backpack you know i don't notice it when i'm running right now i'm not noticing it and if i just want to pick up you know switch to this one i can't so the only thing i have to worry about is remembering to pick this one up again other than that we're fine that's a car the first one not anything we want but Good to know that there are some cars down here, at least. That's the first one, by the way. Well, that was it for this place. Something hurt me from above. I'm going to need to take care of that. Will they be able to... Oh, shit. Okay. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try and use this one as much as I can. Unless, like, a big horde comes. Then I'll use the UMP, obviously. But if I don't have to waste a bunch of ammo, then I won't. That's an egg. Check taste. Nice. That's some good protein right there. Oh, by the way, can I... Can I get chickens? And, like, breed the chickens and make them lay some egg? Is that possible in this game? I haven't really paid attention to that, so I don't know. That would be very cool if I could. Then I will definitely do it. But here, we got a market. Mate, the first thing I do is forgetting about this one. I equipped... <laughs> I equipped the ballista down here. And I forgot it straight away. Wow. Maybe this is not a good idea. Maybe I should just leave it. I will... I feel like I will forget it again. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm dropping the backpack down here. Or down here, up here in the car. We're gonna go down without it. I don't even know if it's worth going into most of these buildings. I don't think so, because I'm just looking for guns and high-value stuff. So, I can't, I can't go into every single one. That's gonna take hours and hours. I need to pick my houses. And these ones that look just like basic, you know, basic houses or some stores... The stores might be worth going into because there could be some weapon weapon stores every now and then. So that would actually be, be worth it. But most of them, I don't think so. And for the for the houses that they literally live in, I mean, what could I possibly find there? I can't think of anything useful. This area feels a little bit weird because there's a bunch of bars. On these ones, although, you know, I live in Sweden. We don't have this stuff here. 
but I know, you know, whenever I go on vacation somewhere, usually, well, I wouldn't say usually, but in, in some places, there are definitely a bunch of bars at the lower sections of, like, every single house, every single store, because there's a bunch of breakings and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit unused to that, so maybe this is actually pretty normal. I don't know. Please let me know if you guys have it where you live. Ooh, we got staircase or a ladder all the way up to the roof. But I think I can take the stairs on this one as well. So this is, it's quite far up. Nope. Okay, if they've made it like that, I feel like it should be something up there. Let me actually try it. Well, this was a very, very long way up. If I fall down... Then I'm dead. Whew. We are now all the way at the top. And I just hope that this is worth it. <laughs> because if it isn't, well then, you know, whatever. Ooh, okay. Some boxes. Oh, shit. 44 tracer ammo, 939 tracer ammo. Anything. Dude, look at the view, though. Man. Holy shit. That is amazing. Look how many houses we got. That is incredible. And all the way up here on the roof. We probably don't have shit. We have a brick. <laughs> and that's it. Dude, I wish there were solar panels in this game. Maybe it already is. I don't know. But if not, I really wish they would add it. That would be... Uh, well, would be interesting to work with. Okay, look at this flipping town. That is absolutely massive. I want to see if there's anything special that I would like to go into. I mean, we must have at least one police station here somewhere. Other than that, I can't really think of any special houses that would have some good loot. Unless we have, you know, a bunker in one of them or... Well, you know, something like that. Maybe that's some other stuff that I'm not thinking about as well. Goes all the way over there. Well, let's just say we're in for a treat. Dude, we can't even see the houses that are further, furthest away. The trees in the way. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, there was uh, nothing here. It's not worth going up all the way, but... The view? You know, not bad at all. Oh, there's a few right outside. Trying to steal my arrow. That is not gonna happen, bro. Are you stuck in it? Does it actually work like that? Oh. Well, well, well. Suck. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Heart attack number one. Ah. Okay. Let's stop playing around with them, <laughs> shall we? Well, there definitely is not as much uh, or like as many puppets as I thought it was going to be. This place, I feel like it should be crawling with them, right? Because... During the out outbreak, it should have been, well, a lot of people here inside the town. But no, here we don't have pretty much anything. I mean, all of these houses, like, it's just standard houses where, you, where people just live. So there's not going to be any reason for us to go in there. What I am looking for, though, is going to be gun stores, military areas... Bunkers. I, I don't think it's going to be a bunker in here, though. But places like that. That is the only places that I know will have very good loot. Everything else might just be a waste of time. But it's obviously cool to check out some of them. Chicken! Can I keep it? You know what? Screw the chicken. We don't want it. So a bunch of bars here, or a bunch of, um, yeah, a bunch of bars. 
So this is as far west as we can possibly get on, well, in this town. So let's just go straight in. Damn, something crashed in there. That is a ladder, though. What the hell is that? Never seen a ladder like that hanging down. Oh. What the hell is this? That's some military boxes. With barely anything in them. Combat helmet, military helmet. Nah. I'm not gonna pick any of those. Huh. Well, I mean, it's a good hideout for sure. Okay, three more. Binoculars. And that's it. Damn. These boxes are not the best. Oh, we can go out on the roof as well. Shit. Let's not fall down. How about that? How about that? I mean, whatever this is, some kind of military. By the way, something that I'm really, really looking forward to is when they add NPCs into this game. I mean, NPCs standing inside uh, places like this. Or, you know, on high rooftops and shit. And protecting good military loot. Obviously, I'm... I'm a big fan of single player games because, well, I don't have to worry about anyone else and I don't really like the fact that anyone can kill me at any time and I lose all the progress. But NPCs, that's another thing though, because then I decide if I want to take the risk of losing everything. If I go into a town like this, the reward is obviously very high because there's going to be a lot of military loot and good stuff. But the risk is me being shot and lose everything I have from NPCs. So I would love to see that in the 1.0. I know that they are working on that, but, you know, NPCs in single-player games, they have a tendency to be very clunky and very bad optimized. So hopefully, Scum will uh, actually pull that one off and make it look really good and make it feel really good. That is um, one, of the, one of the most important things for me, at least, for the 1.0. But I guess we're just gonna have to see. Whoa. Sporum bag. A Kruger. And some garlic. I mean, not bad. For being in a basic store like this one. Oh! I actually missed. They are walking really, like, wobbly. Okay, it didn't break. Oh, another one. What are you protecting, huh? Absolutely nothing. Here we actually have some garages and something else. Looks like some garden type of stuff. I don't even know what that is. That's a tire. Probably for the Raider. Yeah, I was going to say. We might not keep a hold of that because we already have two extra. And I doubt we're going to need any more than that. Yeah, no, it's just going to be unnecessary. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it straight away. Whatever. Already got two extra. That is more than enough. Oh. Like a seat front right. No, thank you. I mean, now that I've found the refrigerator... I don't even need anything from these, uh, <laughs> from uh, all of the garages. Like, what do I need now? That was the only thing that I was looking for for, like, ages. But, hey, we got it. I'm actually, I'm still so excited for that. We can finally start working on the kitchen when we get back home, eventually. Let me see what this is, though. Oh, some big marketplace. Okay. That is some... Big blue doors. What do we have? Huh. That looks like... Well, pretty much looks like the first place that we, that we built in, you know? Down here. This gas station. 
I can hear something to the left of me, I think. What? It, ooh, fire station. All right. A fire station. I mean, what could we possibly find here that we want, though? They don't have any guns. They don't have any weapons. Maybe only a fire axe, but... Or fire... Fighter axe, whatever it's called. But that is... All that I can think of, at least. Hmm, cash. <laughs> didn't see... Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, no. We're not gonna have anything else here. A gym. I get deja vu from this. I feel like I've been... I feel like I've been in a fire station before. I don't remember where and when, though. But this is definitely deja vu. All of this. I wish I could work out myself. Get up my strength from that stuff. I remember this as well. Dude, I feel like I've been here. But I haven't been this far up. Hmm, that's a weird feeling. Okay, well, we didn't find anything up in that one. But here... Yeah, okay, this looks exact... Pretty much exactly like the other gas station that we found. Tire repair kit? Sure, I'll take that. Might actually come in handy. And car repair kit, obviously. Oh yeah, it's exactly the same. Damn, it was a very long time since we were down here. I mean, it feels like yesterday. But it also feels like it was months ago. Which, to be fair, it was. Oh. Well, well, well. Oh, shit! You cannot run through the wall, buddy. Oh, shit, another one! Shit. Run, 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 run. We're switching. Oh, shit. Damn, you're fast, bro. Damn. That was unexpected. Okay, I only got a few C1s, which is actually already recovered, so we are completely fine. But damn. They <laughs> they came a lot more than I thought it was gonna do. Whew, and they came running out of dude, that's cheating. I don't like that. Ugly bastard. All right, let's get out of here. Now, I want to try to find a police station or... I mean, some place that we can find some lockers, maybe. Okay, so far, well... <laughs> we haven't really found anything useful. Oh, no way. No freaking way. What are the odds for this? Two... In the same episode. That is some crazy shit. What is this, by the way? Oh. Absolutely nothing. Well, there is no way that I'm leaving this one behind. So, I'm probably just going to take a trip back to the car and leave it. And then, we'll continue. That's a long way. But that is, that is so worth it, man. We can have two of the refrigerators now back at the base. Man, that is... That is so good. How the hell do I get out of here? Let me out. I just left uh, the fridge in the car. And we're now gonna continue. So I actually switched out to the katana now. We're gonna try some melee. I wanna switch it up, you know, play with everything a little bit. So that'll be a lot of fun. And we ate and drank a little bit. So we are good to go. Let's head into the middle. And then we got all the bottom left. Ooh! I just forgot. We have an airdrop. Not sure if I can see it right now. But that one is going to be all the way down here. We should be able to get it. It didn't come too long ago, so... We'll be fine. God damn it, I need to park here and then... Well, jump over. I don't think we can go over with the car. Out. 
all the ammo. And it's time. <laughs> the katana is absolutely incredible, by the way. Like, damn. Now the question is, where the hell is the airdrop? Maybe it hasn't dropped yet. I thought it was... I definitely thought it, it had been 10 minutes, but... Hmm, maybe not. Okay, I was gonna see if we can strip this one of parts as well, but it looks like... This one doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't have anything that I need either. Actually, wait a minute. Bumper front. Oh, never mind. Bumper front. There we go. That is exactly what we needed. Okay, cool. So, now we're just waiting for the airdrop. You know, when I just went into this house, I was thinking about something else as well. What if they were to add NPCs into this game? Which they should. They have announced it. But what if they also added, like, people still living in houses? So, NPCs, but not military or not any, like, major corporation kind of top kind of thing. But, like, basic, like, standard people still living in their houses, trying to defend themselves. So, whenever you're about to loot, for example, a house like this with a garden and a car and all of this. What if it was, like, a man coming out with a shotgun and, like, trying to defend himself? How cool would that be? That would make the world still, like, active, still living. Even though there's an apocalypse going on, you know? Man, I actually got so excited right now. Just thinking about that. That would be... That would be an incredibly good addition, I think. Alright, I've been here for quite some time. I think this airdrop is a little bit broken. This That's gonna be the second one for the whole series, actually. So not too many that's been broken, but... Nothing is showing up. I'm standing, like, literally on it. Should be in between these two houses, pretty much. But no. We don't have anything. And I don't want to be here in case it's already here, but it doesn't show. So what if it explodes and I die out of nothing, you know? So, yeah, a little bit buggy. That's fine. No problem. We don't actually need it, but it would have been fun. Let's get out of here. Alright, we got the Rager bumper front, and we're gonna install it. There we go. Clean. Now it's pretty much good to go. Ooh, I didn't check to see if it was a, a mirror on the other one. You know, we're missing this one. But we probably need a door for that. Oh yeah, we do. Maybe, oh, maybe it's already on the door that we're gonna take off in the future. Most likely, most likely. Either way, let's get into the town and keep looting. So on the way to the airdrop, I went past this place. This definitely looks like it could have some lockers, maybe. Let's place this one right here on the bridge. This is very sealed off. Well, it's starting off with some military... I guess this is also... This also counts as military, right? I think so. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Maybe we got some lockers up there. Perhaps. If we're lucky. Nice. I love the katana. Apps, like, it feels so good. And it's so much fun to use as well. Nope. No lockers. Not anything. Maybe we got some stuff in these houses, though. I need to piss again? Really? Ooh. Trainer's axe. Not a bad find. You know what I said before? I absolutely love this one. Well, hello, hello. Not not sure which one I like more, though. The guitar... Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Behind me, dude! Stop! Damn it. What? Bastard. C1, we're good. Uh, but yeah, I said... I don't know if which one I like more. 
Trainer Sax or the Katana? I feel like the Katana is still doing more damage, but... You know, when I had this one, it felt really good. Ooh. Probably got some tuna. I will take that. A lot of protein. Some really good food. And that's a car. A little bit of boxes. Still no lockers. It's disappointing. But it's kind of expected. Not gonna lie. Here we got a supermarket. I mean, places like this... I'm not gonna be able to find anything. Like, a supermarket doesn't have anything that I want. I don't exactly know where to go now. We are gonna park this one right here. Right the, below the supermarket. And then we'll go in. And we'll keep looking. That is some more bar. Or some more... Is it called bars? I think so. Ooh, is that guns? I think so. Everything seems to be completely... Ooh. Hello. Compound bow. Sure, I will take that. Thank you. Small fish pack as well. Anything? Oh, I see something. Ah, oh, military boots. I mean, we already have it, but that is uh, pretty good to get. Because they are the ones that I really want to really wanna have an extra of. Alright, let's make sure... Oh, you know what I thought that was? I thought that was one of these counters that I could take home. And place like decorations. Huh. Well, I can't search anything, which is a little bit weird. And there is nothing else that I can pick up. Hmm, okay. Well, at least I know... At least we know there are some gun shops here. Maybe... It's gonna be even more. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, hello. We got three of them. And... Hello, sir. Damn. The katana is actually really good. Yeah, this this one is a lot better than the trainer's axe, but I like this one as well. That's another market. And I mean, th these markets and these standard houses, as I said, I'm not going to go into them. Probably just a waste of time. Hello? What did that? Oh, that's some military boxes. Is that a... Oh, that's... A, okay. Another gun shop. Okay. We might have found the golden place. I think we can search a few of these at least. I hope so. <laughs> I don't... Well, I couldn't search these. Come on, man. Let us find something that we can sell for a lot of money. Or use. Ooh, 50 BMG ammunition. Wait a minute. Isn't that really, really good? I think the, BM, the 50 BMG... Is like the most expensive ammo in the game. And I just found a complete pack of it. Complete box. Bam. Not bad. Dude, not a single gun. Really. Oh, well. That is... <laughs> that is unlucky, I guess. Well, well, well. They've had a party. What have I been... Oh, wait a... Okay, I am getting so much deja vu. Have I been here? I must have been in this town before. I must have, because... I've got this feeling like three or four times now. Where I recognize this. Okay, if I'm correct, there is gonna be a downstairs in this building. Where I can find some military boxes or some kind... Oh no, where they're brewing some... Uh, some ale. If I, if I find that, then I have 100% been here. DJ Mixer. Examine. Can I take it? No resource connected. Ooh, can I get this to work? <laughs> I mean, that would, be, that would be pretty fun. Hey, there we go. Scum. Alright, so let me see if I can find that place that I was talking about. 
Oh, look at this. Staircase down. Could this be it? Okay, that is just some storage. Oh, yeah. I've been here before. Unless this looks exactly like someplace else. Which I guess, I guess... I mean, that could be the reason, obviously. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, do not drink. Stop. I don't want to be drunk in the apocalypse. No, thank you. What did I drink? Wine. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, there were no lockers, no nothing here, but I knew, I knew I recognized this place. I don't think I've been here in this playthrough in the first season. This must have been one of the first times that I played Scum during a live stream or something, because... Yeah, th that's the only thing that I can think of. Oh, is that another gun shop? Oh, oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> Whoa. Come on. Get me a gun. HS9. First gun, and it's absolutely terrible. Mate. 9mm ammunition box. Not that good either. Oh, man. We <laughs> aren't finding anything. Ah, this is so bad. To be fair, realistically here, there shouldn't be, like... like there should barely be any weapons left in a town like this. It should have been looted long ago. Which this one apparently have. So, it sucks, but it's definitely realistic. I'll take it. This is a tools and equipment shop. Oh, look at that. Axe. Pitchfork we don't need. <laughs> Thermometer. That is new. Never seen that before. Construction boot, earmuffs, safety goggles. Okay, not anything major, but eh, I'll take it, I'll take it. What do we have here? I don't see what it says. That's a pretty big building. LXYX, okay, that's a number. Gymnasium, oh, gymnasium, oh, it's a school. Can we get in? This seems to be barricaded. Oh, never mind. Okay, this might actually have something. Because I'm guessing, pretty early on, some people probably tried to stay in this place. And try and survive. So maybe there's going to be some guns, some uh, some weapons left behind. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this... L okay, I don't know if you guys have watched Mist Survival... And I don't know if you have watched my playthrough of Miss Survival, but in the last playthrough that we did, which is actually season two, I think. Yeah, season two. Uh, the school that we can go into in Miss Survival looks exactly like this. There's a, stairs there's a staircase up, we go in. There's a staircase just like this one up here. And to the right, this like it's identical. We go in like this, this locker's here. It's exactly this shape, and then there's gonna be a... Uh, what's it called? Where you play... Ah, uh, whatever. The sport you do in school. And it looks exactly the same, with the benches, with with the looter in the middle. And that... Oh yeah, then we can go in here as well. What the hell? This is so weird. And then there's lockers here as well. Dude, this is identical. I wonder... Which game stole from who? <laughs> I have no idea. I guess... I mean, Scum has probably been around for a little bit longer. So I'm guessing that Miss Survival copied this. But I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it looks exactly the same. That is interesting. So out of all of these boxes, as you can see, that's a lot. We found some ammunition box, gunpowder. And that's it. Oh, look at this classroom. Look at this. He got an A. Anarchy. Wait, Anarchy HD. What the hell? Lava. Some houses. This volcano is a sad, dribbling disappointment. It's small and not real. Not even real lava. Just ketchup and baking soda. C minus. I give this an A. I don't even care. Hold on, I need to take a piss. Not on it. I'm not gonna be that. 
<laughs> but like, hold on, I, I, I recognize this name. Anarchy HD. Why do I recognize that? I don't know. <coughs> Dude, everything looks exactly the same everywhere. This library looks exactly the same as well. Okay, this is so weird. They, like some, one of the companies, one of the games stole this from the, from the other one. Like straight off. Absolutely identical. Huh. Well, I don't th I think this might be the first time I ever see that. At least with the games that I've been playing. And we can go up here up to the roof as well if I know Mr. Survival correctly. Yes, sir. <laughs> there. That is... Uh... Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that, s that one of them copied the other one, but whatever. Whatever. That was uh, everything for the school. Let's keep going. <laughs> up here we got a church. Which, well, to be fair, every single church I've been into in this game has absolutely nothing, but it might look pretty nice. Hmm. Another gas station, or no, another... I don't even know what to call this, by the way. Uh-oh, that might lure quite a few in here. Okay, we got... Whoa! Shit! Damn! Oh! Didn't see the one behind me. Shit, that scared me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are in for a treat. Huh, right here we actually have a rager seat front left. <laughs> Not gonna take it, but that's the first time I'm finding one of those. And that's another Rager tire. We're not gonna pick that up either. Well, hello. Why are you so angry, huh? Why? That is a big castle or something I don't even know what that is let's check it out hello oh it's an old hospital huh imagine going here at night <laughs> no thank you no thank you horror games that is just not my style dude they're screaming from everywhere but I can't see anyone. There you are. First one. And that's two. Ooh. Wait, that's pretty good. Some activated charcoal and some vitamin pills. I will not say no to that. We, yeah, we should probably loot everything here. Potassium iodine pills. Damn, they are expensive as hell. Not bad. Ah, oh, we got a, we got something on the roof as well. Well, hello. Hmm. The attic of a hospital wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, that was not the attic. Well, I guess it kind of was, but. Yeah, we didn't have anything here. This might be the last place that we loot in here, by the way. Because, well, we don't have anything else. I did actually go and watch a map. And I can't see any police stations. I can't see any bunkers. I can't see... I can't see anything that would give me a lot of loot. Not a single locker in the whole big city, which is a little bit weird. Uh, so... I would say quite a big disappointment, not gonna lie. But hey, it is what it is. We uh, at least find some good things, right? And especially for uh, for the base, for the kitchen, where we got two of the refrigerators. So I think I'm just gonna go up to the car and uh, get back home. And well, then we'll uh, set up the kitchen, I guess. 
and we're back at the car so overall i mean to like i, I, I don't know a, a full town and we only managed to find compound bow axe trainer's axe military boots i mean this is absolutely garbage considering where we are in my opinion but well it is what it is at least we did find another uh, refrigerator so we got two of them that is always something right i'll uh, <laughs> i guess i'll take it whatever whatever i am gonna go all the way home which is actually quite far I need to go all this way actually no i'm, I'm gonna take this way and then up and up here that's probably gonna take like half an hour nah probably like 10 minutes whatever i'll see you back home Alright, so we're now back at the base, and this is actually like two hours, maybe not really, one and a half hour, after last you guys saw. So I made it back, and I've been taking out so much stuff from the car. It's actually quite insane how much stuff we have, and as you can see, I have also built a lot more of the chests. So we now have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, plus these two. And I've organized it a little bit, I'm not going to show you everything, but... Uh, well, it looks a little bit better, and, well, yeah, I, I can keep track of everything a little bit easier, that's that's basically it. But the thing is, we still have a lot more in the car that we haven't even taken out yet. For example, okay, here in the cell, we're gonna be selling all of this, which is honestly so much. And as you could see, I also sold a little bit before, so we're now up to $35,000. dollars <laughs> And I all and I still got so much more to sell as well. And if we look here in the loot run, all of this I haven't even taken out of the car because it takes such a long time to organize everything. They need to get an organize instantly button, like um, self-organizing stuff. Because that shit is annoying. But as you can see, I placed down both of the refrigerators and I also placed the electricity generator that we got before. And I filled it up, so if we check this one, it's now 99% gasoline. And these two are now turned on. I can turn them off if I want to. So here, we can keep our food and our water. And they won't go bad for quite some time. So that is awesome. And also in this one, in this box right here... We do have quite a bit of things that we can use. The gas tank, I'm not sure what we will be using this for. Tank filled with propane gas used to fuel applicant app appliances in its range. I don't know what it's going to be using that propane gas. Maybe, if, um, I guess this one, the electric stove. No, that is electric. Mm, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But we do have some portable work lights. Another small electricity generator, although... A little bit smaller than the other one. And uh, we have this one. Two hazmat suits. Which we will use in the future. I'm actually quite excited for that when we go to Chernobyl Light. But yeah, that's it. So um, that's all that I've been fixing. And yes, I will eventually go back and get the car. Which is over here. Uh, which is... Is it here? Ah, somewhere here. Whatever. Yeah, right here. Um, and I will build a garage for it. Probably for both of them, so that we can keep them here, you know? And I also got a comment saying that you guys want me to go back go back all the way down here and get my uh, motorbike. But, like, that's going to take forever because I need to run all the way. Because I cannot carry that one with me if I go down with a car. So that's a problem. I wish there was something that I could attach to the car. Um, like a... I don't even know what that what, what it's called in English, but you know what I mean. Connected here. So that you can uh, put stuff on it and go back with it. So then I could go back with this one. Uh, put the motorbike up on that one and then just go home. That would be that would be very easy. I mean, honestly, just look at this. This is the medical box. Holy shit. What are we... Like, when are we ever going to be using all of this? <laughs> that is... God damn. That is quite insane. So, like, I don't even know what to do with all of this. But... 
well, we got some improvising or some improvised uh, sewing kits. So we're going to be repairing everything that we have. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, also, also, you know what we were talking about before? Um, with taking over the prison and making a base there. I, like, in order to do that, we need to kill the mechs that surround that place. And in order to kill the mechs, we need the improvised grenade launcher. And in order to make that one, we need metal pipe. And we need a little bit of other stuff that I think we should be able to do quite easily. Uh, because all of this, I think we have. I just need to make an improvised workbench. And then we might be able to do it, you know? Alright, progress once again. We have now a improvised workbench. And I also placed a bed up here. A improvised bed. So, according to you guys, I should be able to see that on the map. Yeah, I can see something behind the red dot. So, that's not going to show up all the time. I, I don't know why I haven't built that before. To be fair, I'm not sleeping. I'm, you know, just changing the time because I'm playing single player. So, I have uh, authority to do that, you know. <laughs> just so you guys don't see me uh, running around in the dark. And I also repaired these three. So, they are now 100%, 99%, 100%. Looking good. How, I wonder how much this one... 99.62. And it's been like half an hour. Wow, this one is barely taking any gasoline whatsoever. Nice. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I want to see if I can make the improvised... Uh, the improvised... What was it called? Grenade launcher. There we go. I mean, I, I, I think we should be able to. Alright, as you can see, I've been taking everything in my hands, so all that we're missing is four rubber bands and three wooden planks. Then we have everything in order to make it. The rubber bands, I'm not sure where we can find that. I guess in just random locker somewhere. I don't know. I'll uh, I have to go out and look for that. Dude, we we're so close though. I just built this fireplace, and I'm now going to be placing this one that we found before on it. I guess we just... Yeah, just like that. Light for... Okay, we just need a lighter. I think we should have that. You know, I never pick up pick that up because... I pretty much never use it, but I mean, we should have it, right? Okay, we... <laughs> Wait, we don't have a lighter? Are you serious? Alright, I just made a fire drill and some tinder. That should be enough to start this fire, I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't even know. Hold on, light fire. Did we... Oh, we didn't even use the tinder. Oh, no. Okay, so now all we gotta do is take the meat out of the car. And there's quite a bit of it. Let me just see where I had it. No. Loot run. Here we go. Yeah. Damn, we got a lot from that deer. I guess we'll just cut up everything, pretty much. And then we can just put it in the... Uh, in the fridge. See, that is a lot. Ooh, I think we're getting pretty hot from this. Okay, let's stay a little bit further away. Okay, so from one of those, we got deer steak, 10 out of 10. Animal fat, large animal bone, used for crafting. What can we do? Bone. Okay, bone needles, we actually, we will use that in order to make them, uh, make some thread. Oh, here we, okay, wait a minute. Grill grid, so grilled red meat, grilled fish, I don't even know what that is. Grilled mushroom, grilled veggie, add recipe. Salt, black pepper. Oh, wait, we need a pan for that. But I have the grill. Improvised barbecue. Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, we just place it like that. Okay. Adding optional ingredients increases the quality of your cooked meat. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. That was 10 out of 10, though. I don't know if that makes a difference. Can I do anything with the fat? No. What can I do with this? Can I just eat it straight away, or... 
Okay, so if I look here at all recipes, I can't see fried eggs, which means I should be able to have chickens and make them lay some egg. Right? I really want to do that. Build a chicken farm. <laughs> Damn, that would be cool. Hmm, do I stop this now or will it get like uh, overcooked? Poorly cooked. I mean that it's still going to be really good, obviously. Wait, 2 out of 2. So it's 10 out of 10 and then 2 out of 2 when I get take it out. How does that make any sense? I mean, look how much nutrients I get from this. Yeah, I will definitely start doing this. Only eating meat. Well, not only, but you know, this gives me so much. I'm going to feel so much better. All right, so this one, I'm going to make this one cook a little bit longer. See what happens. Because we only got two out of two. I don't know why, but that might be the same for every, every, every single one. Or if we make this one a little bit more, then it might be more than two out of two. I don't know. Oh. Or maybe it's just as poorly cooked because I don't have any, um, any salt or pepper on it. Yeah, that's also two out of two. Well, I'm not sure how this works. If you guys have any tips for this, please let me know. But I'm going to cut this one up as well. And we're going to be cooking every single one. I just tried to eat one animal fat. But then I got food repulsion straight away. I didn't eat much. <laughs> I only ate one out of ten. So it shouldn't affect me too much. Wait, it goes down super slowly though. Okay, I don't know what that's going to do to me. <laughs> I have no idea. Nausea. Well, it's recovering, so we should be fine, right? Oh, wait. We got meat on the grill. Shit. Yeah, I just noticed. So the ones that I left a little bit longer is now... Like, when I took it off, it was 90% and 97. The ones that I took off when it was exactly the second it was done is 100%. So that's when I definitely should be doing it. The animal fat, I'm not sure. But I guess we'll... Uh, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. We have a bunch of bone needles now, by the way. And we got one. Oh, wait, was that a cargo drop that I just saw? Oh, yeah. Right in front of us. We should probably go get that. Uh, but we got one left, and then everything has been cooked. We are actually fine right now when it comes to food. Uh, actually, our stomach is only 8%. We can definitely grab a small bite. You know what? Let's do that straight away. It's a few minutes left for that one. Let's see if I like it or not. I should be. Okay, take that one. And taste it. Yeah, me. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Grilled red meat recovery bonus. All the stats are gonna go up from that. Nice. I like it. I like it. The weird thing is that it's 10 out of 10 when I put it on. And only 2 out of t uh, two out of 2 when I put take it off. I don't know what's up with that, but I guess maybe that's how it is for, for everything. Hmm, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any idea about that. Wow. The fire actually went out when it was 2 minutes left for this one. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I'm actually going to eat this one. Completely. Alright, take that off. Cool, that was the last one. Also two out of two, yeah. Um, I, I don't think that's a lot of food. As you can see, grilled meat. This one goes away straight away. I'm like absorbing it straight away. And the stomach does not get full whatsoever. Um, yeah, I don't... I don't know if I'm doing any, something wrong. Or it, if it's supposed to be like that. I I can't really tell. But either way, we got five of them, two out of two. So, that's always something. Okay, I'm going to get ready and uh, we're going to go grab the grab the, um, the airdrop. That's going to be the last thing that we do.
Okay, the last one. Wow, we got a bonus lock. Okay, this was one of the one of the best I would say that I've ever gotten. So we started off with a toolbox, sledgehammer, axe, box of bolts, box of nail, nails, kitchen knife. Then we got a weapon cleaning kit. We got AK-47, three magazines, three ammo boxes, plus a V3 holographic sight, respirator, crowbar, and now we got three advanced lockpicks as well. I mean, I am incredibly happy about that. One of the best ones I've ever gotten. Honestly. That's a lot of good stuff. Cool. I oh, didn't expect that. Alright, we are back home. I'm gonna drop everything that I have inside the boxes once again. Like, the loot... Like, we have an insane amount of loot. It's actually a bit ridiculous now. Um, also, in this one, the rocket launcher. We I placed everything here, so we, as I said, we just need some rubber bands and three planks. And then we got the rocket launcher. I really want to try that one on something. And I did see as well in crafting that we can make some, uh, some mines. I think it said... Wherever I saw that pipe bomb, pressure cooker bomb, improvised mine. There we go. And I think I also have that actually here in this one. Yeah, we got a claymore, some TNT. So I'm not sure how much we need in order to take down a mech. But I mean, it would be awesome if we could do that. So I'm, I'm actually quite excited for that. That's, gonna, that's not going to come in the next one though. But in the future, we will do it. But in the next one... We will go to the northwest once again, but we're going to be checking out the biggest airport in the game. And I have gotten a few comments about this, obviously, saying that the underground in this place is apparently just as big as the upper area. So that is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm, I am looking forward to that quite a bit. Now, about the car that we had before. If I'm gonna go and grab this car, I'm probably gonna go and sell it because I did get a comment saying that I can sell a full car for like twenty thousand. And if that's the if that's correct, then I mean I can use that money so much better than just letting the car stand here for like just memory, you know. Um, and if I do that, I can probably go to the trader and purchase myself a really good sniper. If if I even if I even I don't even know if I can that. If I can purchase a sniper there. But if I can, I will. Probably a VSD. And then we can try that one here. I don't know. I don't know. I got I got a few plans. <laughs> so, I'm actually... Yeah, the next one is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will catch you guys in the next one.